currently quite influenced by um, ideas surrounding eugenics, so the idea of racial purity, the body perfect, um, and yeah, I reacted against <laughs> against that context, I guess, and yeah, it made me think about okay, well, what what are all the elements of this idealised Australian lifestyle that that image ignores? The work that I'm producing for this exhibition is titled Under One Sun. The work that I'll be presenting is 63 silver gel gelatin prints um, that have um, solar diagrams that document a series of dates between 1789 and 1928, um, which correspond to massacres of Indigenous Australians. I think when I was approaching the Sun Baker, yeah, I found it quite a challenging image to respond to. I just thought a lot about the conditions that made that image possible. So obviously the colonisation of Australia. And I was also really interested in the role that astronomy has played in navigation and colonisation. <laughs> and from a very personal point of view, um, I was born in, in uh, the Wild Creek community of Wallara in Central Australia. So it's five hours drive northwest of Alice Springs. And yeah, my first memory is leaving, so I don't have any memories of actually living in that community. Um, but yeah, I've always been very conscious of that as an important part of my own personal history. And so I've been very conscious of the roles that the English played in the formation of this country and the lifestyle and life that I've been able to have here. So in choosing to represent um, these massacres, I, I'm obviously just working with a very, very small slice of what happened here in this country because the majority of, of those um, incidents were not recorded um, during the colonial period by white people. Uh, my work is very context driven, so I choose different materials and ways of working specific to each project. So I, I chose to, to work with analogue photography in this um, context, number one, to reference the original print and also the history of photography during that time frame. I chose the medium quite specifically, so the paper stock is, a, you know, a warm paper stock that references that historical image. Um, and I was really careful about how to produce these digital negatives as well, so transparency film um, is not a way that most people work with analogue photography. So I researched a few different ways of, of that printing process to get, I was really keen on getting a grain into the image that um, I guess both referenced film as a, as a medium, but also I loved that it had this vibe of uh, astronomical imaging as well. So there's that sort of, yeah, a grain in the images that I'm, um, yeah, been really keen to pursue and keep in there.